So um, this is um, <clears throat> Brendan Schaub. Yay! <laughs> was uh, on a sh- was on a show Brendan. with bro. If I if if we got a sponsorship, right? Mm-hmm. Even if they did pay us a lot of money, right? Mm-hmm. If they sent us that sign, that powered by rain sign, I'd be like. I didn't agree to have a sign the size of the goddamn studio. Well, I mean, then, like, what is this fucking Murray's Arcade? Like, fucking, you know what I mean? Like, I'll give you a sponsored by such and such, but like, we're not changing the whole goddamn show. I'm not putting up a sign the size of the wall. So, okay. So first off, um, then I'm gonna have to return the the Revenge of the Sauce neon lights I got for the studio. Yeah, I'd yeah. Be better. You guys are doing it. No. God damn it! You keep. We'll we'll talk about it. All right, hold on, hold on. We'll talk about it. All right, all right. Let's say, let's say, you've entered a hellscape alternate dimension, where you have to do Revenge of the Sauce. I'll kill myself. What I okay? <laughs> all right. Well, you pick a flavor before you fucking eat the bullet. What's the flavor? I don't. I'm not hungry. <laughs> what about a malt liquor called Revenge of the Schlitz? <laughs> to answer your question, Virgie, uh, garlic parmesan bullet, please. Gar- gar- garlic parmesan forty five. Yeah. Spicy honey barbecue. There you go. Um. Anyway, start the clip here, Taylor. Spicy honey barbecue and Zyklon. So anyway, um. <clears throat> Brendan Shaw, Burke Kreischer were on some sort of show. It'll be funny as you get like rain to sorry, I just, I'm on this rant now sure. about this. You get rain to sponsor your show, and then we just you just keep dumping ghost into rain cans off the air. So we're like, mm, I love rain. It's so good. I love rain energy. So Burke Kreischer and Brendan Shaw are on some show and they're talking about the you know Ari the Craft. Show. Ari Shafir, and, Joe, you know the soldiers versus the civilians. The civilians, yes, the, the, the war on comedy. Fighting in the trenches. The uh, oh, 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 fucking stop referring to the comedy stores that please. Um, as the trenches, the fucking uh, any place that has Kid Rock's picture in black and white on it is not the <laughs> trenches. That's all. Um, yeah, any place that's gonna have Steve O on Wednesday and Thursday isn't gonna be that wild. Any place that has Mick Foley telling a story on stage is fine. So anyway. Burke Kreischer, Brendan Schaub are talking about the Ari Shafir incident where Ari Shafir dosed him with, was it acid? Acid, right? Yeah. People like where You I also go, gotta go in person. You can't zoom Like when, the, when Ari drugged me, I couldn't just fucking talk about that in therapy. Yeah. Because all of a sudden someone steals. Why are you going to therapy? Because they're, they're all profoundly broken, sad people. Mm. And that is the biggest podcast that Burke Kreischer talking for an hour with a dude who's listening about what it felt like to be drugged Horrible. by a, by his best friend yep. and, and and so like there's a lot of things I just I couldn't share in therapy because I was because I, I only are you your best friend no but you don't like his ska outfit what, what what's he doing well he's about to break out his fucking harmonica he's dressed like he's in a boy <laughs> band from like the 2000s like when the boy band trend started dying out but they were still making them yeah he's the stupid one he's one of those late boy band guys (laughs) yeah seriously no 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 oh no Ari. oh no or he's not my best friend but obviously tommy's my best friend but Ari is Ari is one of my closest friends if it's my space wait wait can i can i point something out here this meant these are grown men right can you imagine (coughs) the four of us we're all friends can you imagine? PR? Yeah, can you imagine if, like, we're talking about something and, and you know, something happens and Merce did something. Like, say, Merce, Merce fucking put drugs in my in my energy drink. And then, and then, and then, Pessy were to go to Never me. Never would waste drugs like that. I know. But then Pessy would be like, man, how does it feel that your your best friend drug you like that? I would, it would, I wouldn't make a big deal out of it. I would just be like, yeah, it's fucking horrible. He's my friend or whatever. I wouldn't get stuck on. He's not actually my best friend. Well, he's like he's my, my third, good he's friend. He's my third best friend because he's I have my best friend. My best best friend. And then my my one of my besties from he's like an F, not a BFF. This is like explaining to the other guy why he's not going to be your best man. I don't understand this. 
Who cares? That, that, that little, is a high school. That little thing. childish back and forth is the exact problem with all these LA comics. That mentality of like, he's a good friend, but he's not a best friend. What are you going to write that in your diary? Dude, they're all perma children. Jesus Christ. Like, dude, they're just, they're stuck in their fucking childhood. Therapy, because I was, because I, I only want to be best friend. This is LA, right? So you know they're like, oh, okay, so you. You're 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 a great wife. You're not my the best wife I've had. Yeah, but, but you're, you're like you're like my second five. favorite wife. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh no, Ari. Oh no, Ari. He's not my best friend. But obviously, Tommy's my best friend. But Ari's yes. Ari's one of my closest friends. If it's, I, what does that mean? Wait, wait hold Dude, on. Wait a what, minute. What person in their forties, even in their thirties, is still? I'm not going to give you the title of best friend. Are there any people that are really on? I'm joking. I'm not honest. I'm joking aside. Are there any people that are actually really like this? Yes, in LA. I I I, I don't. All of them. This is why Esther, what's her face, eats Xanax all day and just zones yeah. out while everyone's talking. Mm -hmm. It's my space. Ari's in your top eight. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Ari's yeah. in my top eight. Wait, right now in real life. I, and I and yeah, I. Yeah, but it's my space. It's very. I know that. Oh it, my God! They did the thing. No, they you did should the do this. You should, you should. You should try to, the MySpace line again. You, th you think you'll do a third? You'll think you'll say MySpace a third time. I'd no, because yes. remember with like the top friends of MySpace. I, I bet you does it one more time. I, I know that Ari is for a lot of people listening. I understand he's Jewish and what people think about Ari. I think he's Jewish. But like my assistant, I, we I happen to agree with Royce. Mm -hmm. Royce has a good take on that. You know who agrees with us? Ari. Mark Norman's bachelor party. Ari's I, a great comic. But my, my assistant. Thank, Thank you, you I, for that I, contribution. I, I, in, in the, Ari, good, make me laugh. In the middle of him talking, like he always does, in the middle of him saying a sentence, it's just Ari's blurts, a good comic. He just blurts things yeah, out. Yeah, but Mersh, Ari's a good I, comic. I hate him. Even joking, it's annoying, <laughs> it's right? It's very annoying. We, we do it to each other when we watch Brendan clips, and it's, it's like, oh, just... fucking so bad. And said to me the last day, he's like, we're having a beer at the airport, and their flight gets delayed. Mark. Joe DeRosa and Ari's flight gets delayed and they come over and my assistant goes, my assistant's a solid fucking dude, top mm -hmm. to bottom. And he goes, I've met him. A male assistant? That's weird. He goes, I wanted to hate him. I said, what? And he so goes, I wanted to hate him. a grown man fucking just openly talking about their therapy sessions. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the, are. this is, and then, and then there'll still be people in the comments that'll be like, well, fuck, jealous? What's wrong? It's because he's funnier than you? Look. Fine, funnier than me. Fine, fine. All those things. You could put all those things on me. But at the end of the day, do these people seem happy to you? Do these people seem like they're li that they that they're happy? No, they get progressively more miserable the more worse. therapy they go to. Uh, yeah, it's therapy makes people worse. Yeah, you know, it's because they don't get go to therapists because they need therapists. They go to therapists because they showed off their therapist fucking their therapist car business card. Like they show off their fucking cars and shit. Well, dude, it's a commodity to them. Someone's got to get them pills too. Uh, well, that he goes, he, he's the sweetest guy in the world. Dude. He is. There's a part of Ari that is, that is. People don't see it. He, 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 yeah. You know, Ari say whatever. He's still talking. He wants about me, but <clears throat> I, that I don't understand. The two of you, I don't understand. That's right. Ari has talked shit on Brandon Shaw a few times. Uh, I, I, I kind of do. I, really? Why? Yeah. Oh. I have no. I have no I ill will to you, Brandon. It's because you're not fucking funny and you keep being handed things that normally fucking people that are funny have to work their fucking ass off to get you he piece of so shit hurt he looked so hurt there yeah it that that killed him you i don't understand uh, i, I kind of do I, really why yeah. oh. i have no i have no ill will towards him at I all know. I at know. all me 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 and i have done shows together um but Ari uh, say something that gets taken out of context, and I don't no, have his it's number. We're usually not... in context. It wasn't out of context. We've heard what he said about you, and in context, funny. it was very funny, and he was making fun of you. Not boys at all. Jesus Christ! It looks like he should be singing "Happy" with Pharrell. Like, what's he doing? I, it's no, it's an odd text fashion me. choice. Oh my God, he does. He looks like he's going to a Halloween party as Pharrell. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He looks like he's going to be in Robin Thicke's new video. <laughs> Call me and text me. He'll oh, text me and be like, hey, man. He'll be like, he'll... Pico de Gallo. Pico de Gallo. He'll be like, this came out. The one thing I don't do is I shit on that. other comics. I saw that. I saw that. That was fucking bullshit. Uh, but it's, uh, it's not real. But but uh, but also, yeah, I don't... no, it's not real. It's not real. And it's uh, and well, he, that's, he what, that's what was bullshit about it. I was like, he that's called what... me. Why about... are you? 
you little you you little therapy little sissies always defending this guy. I don't understand it. Ari's one of the few dudes who is funnier than both of these all guys. Of and all of them, really, in, in my opinion. Ari's one of the funniest dudes probably around. And you know what Kreischer wanted to say there with the Ari thing? I'll read, I could read his mind because it's typical therapy stuff. This is what he said when he was like, when he was like, oh, I don't know why you have a problem with you. Well, actually, I do. What he actually wanted to say is, and maybe he goes into it, I don't know. But what he actually wanted to say is because he's jealous of you, man. It's because he's been he's been at it longer than you. And you're but guaranteed. Out it and told me. That's what he'll say I, off I, the air. Yeah. He wants to ball say it on it, you know. I don't care. You know, I have no ill will towards Ari at all. I, I met like him. He did a, he did a, nice he did a set in Indianapolis a handful of years ago. And we went down to meet him. Or went down to the show. And we just happened to meet him because he recognized us in the front. Um, and dude, he was fucking doped us. We went out, we went drinking afterwards. He's a uh, good time. And he was he was really cool and respectful. How would you know he's a good time? You just even said you don't even have his phone number. Respectful to everybody I was around. We've well, just done, so we, we have all the same mutual friends. But we That's the podcast I want to see, just you and him. Yes. Hey, Bre hey, Brendan, does that tell you something? Yeah, if I have like all the same unaware, mutual friends Brendan with somebody is unaware. And, and we never hang out, then I'll probably... <laughs> Maybe you figure out you're the problem? The you and him, I would love to see that podcast because I wouldn't. I know you. Wait, no, hold on. Yes, I would. I take that back. I keep thinking about content for us. Yes, please do it. And I know him, and I, and I, I think I've surrounded me. like the people that hate me are textbook uh, sociopaths. Mm -hmm. Like I'm everyone that hates I me is a sociopath. Wait a second. Does this guy, Burke Kreischer, thinks? And by the way, I'm not one of those dudes that like hates Burke. We don't really talk about no. pressure that much. So this isn't me going into it like I have like some deep seated. I don't. But Burke Kreischer just said that everybody that hates him, it's because they're sociopaths. Which again, what's the what kind of therapy are you going to when a therapist is not telling you you need to take blame for some of the things in your life? Well, everyone that dislikes me is a sociopath. Yeah, I, I don't think that's true. Bert? I'm going to turn every single person into the chat a sociopath. And then you're like, yeah. okay, fine. <laughs> here, here you go. I guess fucking here she's all loved. How See about you sometimes month. you do things that are stupid? How about we're all sick of you baking the machine your entire fucking personality? I mean, I, I just, I know who hates me. Like, I'm not saying, look, if you're listening to this, you're like, I'm not a fan of Bert's. I, There's an issue I have that I need to clean. Why was that cut? Correct, uh, yeah. and I'm I'm projecting on Bert. Yeah, like you, you need to see Bert's therapist. And and I and, and you need to see Bert's therapist. And why would I want to see Bert's therapist? It's doing horrors for him. Why would I want to use the same thing? Look, Bert, I don't want to ever be like the guy. So why would I yeah, want to go to I his would, therapist? I'm not going to go to a therapist of a guy that mm -hmm. I would kill myself if I was them. Yeah, I don't understand that. And I and and, and I, I Ari's put something in show links just in case you want to you know maybe see if everybody in chat's a sociopath. Oh, I remember this. We remember the uh, the Burke Kreischer Adam Sandler thing that we played during the pandemic, like two years ago. When I, when you as soon as you see the first frame, you're going to remember. Oh, as ladies and gentlemen, this oh, next God, comedian. Yes, yes, yes. This was that fund the charity. Yes. Thing. Uh, Burke Kreischer embarrasses himself in front of Adam Sandler. We played this on the show April 5th, 2020. I'm not oh, playing it. Oh, I remember this. But it's no, all... no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. right, he right, is right, one right, of right, my right, comedic right, right, heroes. Right. He is the reason I do stand up. He is the he reason I've been writing movies that, that have never been made, but I love his movies. I love everything about this guy. Okay. Without further ado, the guy that defined all our personalities, Adam Sandler. Oh, my God. That was unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you. Adam, have you ever heard of Bert? He doesn't think you know who he is. I, I've seen Bert, right? I, <laughs> He's trying to be nice, man. Dude, it quickly goes from like Adam Sandler's trying to like, oh, that was something, and to, by the end of it, he's just like, all right, man, I just want to, I just want to go. I just want to. I don't want to be here. Skip to the That's end of the video, boys. Just oh, skip to I the know. end of it. Oh, I know. Here. You can just, not no like just towards just towards the end somewhere where you, where you oh can, god you know, where they just right rip on him right this was not gonna... boy oh, there was so much going there Burt Kreischer 
humiliated himself in front of Adam Sandler <laughs> for <about> 10 minutes. <laughs> he said everything wrong you could possibly say to Adam Sandler. That's why I like Big Jake. Big Jake's fucking funny, man. He, he, called he, us, fell, he, he fell one question short of asking, why do your movies suck now? Oh, my God, man. Oh. I, I do love Big J, man. Big J will fucking... He will always go for the joke. Oh, yeah. Unlike therapists. Being guy, like, like I said, uh, my my daughters hate him. My daughters hate him, really? and my wife hates him. He he'll drug, never come, he he'll never come, to, he'll never... Oh, that's right. It, Why? Are they sociopaths? Anyone that doesn't like Ari Shafir is probably a sociopath. Flip it around. See, it, do you like that? Anti-Semite. <laughs> yeah, an anti-Semitic <laughs> sociopath. If I was for... Ari, I would play this clip and go... Yeah, I guess Kreischer's kids and his wife are anti-Semitic. That's all I would do. That would be a fucking funny angle. Yeah. Every, on a show, right? Every time you see Kreischer on a show, you're like, yeah, because your wife and your kids that fucking hate Jews. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, he'll and never he come to my house. What was they dropping to you? Molly. Mm -hmm. That's right. My, it was on oh, I'm sorry that they had had you have a good time. Yeah, so that's podcast, terrible. Right? It was on my podcast. Yeah. And everyone's like, release it. And that's this is what sucks about the internet. But you go, you don't, I, I know better what you want to see than you. You're Correct. not going to want to see good. this. It's, it's going to hurt It's Ari not what more. you think. It's also going to hurt Ari more. It's not. I watched it. And man, when you see in my eyes. When you realize? What happened. Mm. So you started feeling some kind of way. And you're like, man, I, I feel started, fucking my weird. My face started like, getting hot. And I was so, like. So hold like, on. Pause. 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 Ari Shafir dropped fucking Molly in his drink. And it's on camera. And all of his fans begged him to release it. And this motherfucker just said. I know what you want to watch better than you do. Mm -hmm. And he won't because, release it, but instead he will talk about it. Yeah. But through my eyes, the really embarrassing thing that I did while I was on Molly, it's just, it's not something that. No, but it's see. that arrogance. But here's the thing you have to understand. It's that arrogance. Bert does this a lot because he got caught. He's got caught doing it before. And the other comics get caught doing this a lot. And, and, and a lot of people, you just hate him because you're jealous. But that's not true. If you watch the show, we rarely ever go. New York comics, it's very rare that we're like, oh, look how cringe. Because they're fucking, they hate they're, themselves. Yeah, they're funny. But instead of going to therapists, they do drugs. So it's just more fun. I mm -hmm. just, but, dude, I, I wouldn't care about the therapist or any of that shit. I just hate anybody who go, who fucking makes their entire personality. I'm funny. And they're not no, fucking but but but, but 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 even if he was funny, even if he's the funniest person that's ever lived, even if this is the funniest guy there ever was, the problem the problem with that is is that is that, you know why he'll never be the funniest guy there ever was because he talks like he is an expert at comedy, and I really that line is very telling. It's like like you said, Virgin. You said Murph. We all said it. It, it caught everyone off guard with the. I know what's funny. You don't. Well, to be you fair, he's right shit. because they are civilians. But and it's like that mentality. <laughs> That's why Sarvos Sarvos was so much was so funny when he called everybody out. He's like, "Look, man, I respect the average dock worker more than the, any comic." Like. And that's the mentality. They, they really think, I know what's funny more than you. Dude, that's why Stav can walk out mm -hmm. and do fucking 20 minutes of crowd work. Mm -hmm. Just, just I shoot. make on par, if not better jokes. <laughs> yeah, well, he can go out and do just 20 minutes of fucking crowd work straight. Bert Kreischer goes out and immediately takes his fucking shirt off. That's a really good point. Ari he, he has it written there. on his fucking, he actually has it written on down wall. on his show notes. Oh, yeah. It's like sh <laughs> shirt all. It's like airplane food. Mm -hmm. they have you know, it's like uh, local local city jokes. Shirt off, and then after that, machine. I think it's literally just a piece of paper that just says shirt off and machine. <laughs> That's it. And it's written like, in bacon grease. <laughs> the fact that he hasn't released it is kind of weird to me. Like, just I would have by now, right? Yeah, of course. Cool. Like, fucking weird. And, and then he says, and by, and by the way, if if you watch it. I'm doing it just. Well, we can't right. watch we it. We can't. But he's like, "Do you? Do you?" But if you watch it, handle a little bit of Molly. It is. He's high on Molly, uh -huh. and he's saying it high on Molly. And he's like, "Do you? Do you?" And I was like, "I was like, yeah, well, why?" And he's like, "He's like, maybe you you can't be mad." And I was like, "What?" And he's like, "Maybe I put something in your drink." Uh, and when I realized that moment, I realized is I chugged it. I downed it, and I demanded more mm -hmm. drugs. You, you know what cool. my answer would have been to Ari? Mm. It would have been, you put some, 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Here's what mine would have been. Mine would have been like, well, here we go. And I would have got right. You, you go in. I mean, I would. I mean, I would still be pissed. I though. would be angry I, I would too. Be pissed. But, I don't. But, but would you release it? I would be. Upset, would you release the video? Like, yeah, make a couple bucks off. That's the, just, exactly. This is how fucking good at at, <laughs> at drugs I am. That's not the time to be angry. That's a good be point. Be angry afterwards. Yeah. But like, let's get all fucking, let's get at, all pissy and shit. After at least, at, you're right, that's a good point. Be angry later. Don't waste the molly. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's not cool. It's like, it's like the same thing about like. No, I'm way closer with you than I, not even close. Way closer. Yeah. We know, we know you have so many friends and everybody loves you. And hats. And you're the best And of sneakers. The ball, and you're nice. He just. Did he need to say that he's closer to him than nope. Ari after he did nope. a fucking 15 minute introduction about how fucking Ari hates him? Nobody is saying that that's not. Is he even listening? Nobody is saying that. No. Is he listening? Dude, Brendan uh, Schwab is one the of the. I, 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 I love dude, you. He, yeah. I don't love Ari. MySpace, I don't know though. him that way. I don't love you. I don't, I don't love know Ari. him. It's like MySpace. Well. Uh, yeah. And when I heard that, that pissed me. So off. once you recognize your friend, it, I was like, yeah, "What yeah. the fuck are you doing?" Not, I'm not really trying to hash shit up, but I just don't know. So once you once you recognize it, your response was he had to get on a flight too, well, and he's around it, his kids. It's, it's, pretty, it's fairly complicated because why are you talking for him? You I saw that guy that... All right, cool. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, just let me put a refresh. We're back. No, Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about the little fart. We should be back. Complicated because uh, he got Cosby. But because Brendan I, Brett, is one of those dudes that you can tell. Brendan just like looks in your eyes, mm -hmm. and you can tell he's not listening. He's just thinking of the next thing he wants to say. Oh yeah, I want you to go back a couple <laughs> seconds. I need you to hear from the the, the plane. To him saying, "Who's got to fly?" Watch how many times he does this. No. Yeah. When when I heard that, that pissed me. So off. once you recognize your friend, it, I was yeah, like, yeah. "What the fuck it are you doing?" I'm not really trying to hash shit up. I just don't know. So once what? you once you recognize it, your response was he had to get on a flight too, well, and he's it's, around it's, his kids. It's, it's pretty, fairly complicated because uh, he got Cosby. <laughs> He won't stop. He got Cosby. Dude. Well, no, because that, that would imply that Ari Shafir then raped him. Well. Did Ari Shafir rape you, Bert? Is that why you're not releasing the tape? And did you maybe like it? <laughs> and if he did rape you on your podcast, really you should release it. You, you don't know shit if you don't think people don't want to see it. When that. you were on Molly, was he taking you from behind and you were telling him to call you, call me the machine, call me the machine? Okay. So I know there's some talented motherfuckers in chat. Yeah. We really need Burt Kreischer's face over Ned Beatty's and fucking Deliverance. With I like that. Here. And then and just on one of the trees in the background, hang his stupid fucking <laughs> neon sign. <laughs> because I, I Also, look, I wouldn't like to be dosed. I will agree with that, and that would make me pissed. I would also be pissed. But they're trying to make it sound like he's never going to be able to see his kids and family again or go on a flight. You could be on a flight on Molly. You'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, stop it. It's not like he dosed you with LSD while you were, like, driving a car yeah. or flying a plane. You'll be all right. You, you, you know what you do? You have the best flight you've ever had in your life is what you have. And you keep going, like, ding. Can I have more water? Yeah, just more water, please. Okay. Is it hot? You just have the thing a full blast. Just all the, you're asking other people yeah. to turn their little air things on too, and you just keep, you just keep rubbing your seatbelt for no reason. <laughs> you know, so I'm on, I'm on, I'm on Molly. Um, this I'm having your, a panic attack. I have to be on a flight. Is it's not my. It's in my house. In his house, around his kids. And and my wife. kids and wife are there. And, but, but what bums me out so much is Ari was like a. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to get too deep into it, but like, yeah, he released a video. Okay, he was, he was I very would friendly. Legitimately, be more upset that you just that you brought drugs in my house with my fucking kids. Yeah, you know what? Then that, you putting like drugs in my shit. Like, if this was just at his studio, that's like, a good point. That's a good point. That does kind of change things up a little bit too, right? Yeah, oh yeah, like, yeah absolutely. He's more upset about getting drugged. Like he's that's an afterthought to him. Like yeah. me, like that would be my main contention after the fact. Like you're in for the ride. You might as well just fucking let it ride. You know what I mean? In our house. Like, yeah, I'm not saying I would fight you about it immediately. I'm just saying I would be pissed and I'd be like, all right. Oh no, you should be too. He showed up. He was always traveling. He always had a backpack. He was always doing laundry. Uh -huh. You know, and and like him and Isla connected and. They, they found him funny and it was fun. And then in, a, in one stupid thing he did, he made it so that now my daughters hate his guts. Forever. Understandably. Understandably. Daughter, and, and my wife hates his guts. And, and I had a month. I had a month where I, you know, like I, like I, I called Whitney Cummings and the next day it happened. So let's say all of this is true. But, and, and, and I think from his perspective, it is true. 
And he, he has given a lot of points that I will agree with him on, like, you know, bringing drugs in the house and there's kids there and getting dosed. I would be pissed and I'm being realistic. Whether I think Kreischer's funny or not, how funny Ari is, that is true. But here's the part that I don't understand. And this is what Tiger Belly does and this is what they do. Why do you keep bringing it up on air? Like, this is some personal shit that you hash out. Why would you get, even though your, your, you say your wife and, and your daughter are mad, why would you bring them into this on an episode of a show? Like, that to me is the part where it's a unique, uniquely L.A. comic thing to do. Where they, they, But then at the same time, he'll tell you everything that happened on this show and how bad it was, but then also he won't release You it. don't want to see that, though. Because you know why? I think he probably, I mean, I haven't seen it, so here's the problem, Bert. We have to guess. I think he probably had a good time. And I think he probably maybe got a little pissed at first, but he probably read and he had a good time and they were joking and they were laughing. Yeah, and then he probably doesn't want to like, you know, yeah. he's been milking it as a victim for so many years now. He doesn't want people to go back That's and go, you look like you were probably fine. Point. Yeah, it, it, it would have been like, like maybe, also I know this is silly, but it's a question that I think is fair to ask. How much Molly? I was I, I, I'm not saying it's right or wrong. It doesn't make it right. It doesn't make no. it right. But the amount does matter a lot. You think right? it's probably a yeah. lot? No, no dude, I, I guarantee you, guarantee you. I think it might be the Ari opposite. Put like a point in his I, fucking, in his drink. Yeah, I think it might be the opposite. Yeah, I think maybe. It was, probably just microdosed him a little bit. Yeah, I mean, again, I don't know, you know. I mean, a uh, point or two with some good Molly will get you feeling good. It's not going to make you fucking, it's, you're not going to get lit.